So Kelly, we really appreciate the work that you do in your role uh, as the Director of Existing Business Development. Can you tell us a little bit about what that means to be the Director of Existing Business Development? Sure, absolutely. Uh, from, from my perspective, that means taking care of the businesses that we have here in Bedford County, specifically as it relates to their workforce needs and, and any challenges that may arise. So making sure that they have the skill level, that their employees have the skill level that they need, making sure that they have appropriate resources when, when problems arise. For me, uh, my role is all about taking care of those businesses. And I know that's a very important role because sometimes people just see us as the organization that brings new businesses in. But like you mentioned, taking care of the companies that we already have is very important. And I know that the beginning of this year, we had an opportunity to really help one of the existing businesses. Can you kind of talk us through how all of that happened? And then we'll give Patty an opportunity maybe to come mm -hmm. in and kind of explain how you were able to help as well. But talk us through how that happened. Sure, so in January of 2023, we received notification from National Pen that they were going to be moving their manufacturing operations from the Shelbyville facility to um, an international location. As a result, 67 employees were laid off from their jobs uh, through no fault of their own. And so we received the warn notice in January and within 24 hours, we had an opportunity to sit down with National Pen's plant manager and their HR director to determine what services were needed, what resources we could provide, and how we could really come to the table and support this company in, in a time of need. When we think about 67 employees losing their jobs, that could be that, that can be a potentially dire situation for any and, and every family. So it was very important that we made sure that the transition for those folks was as seamless as possible. And Kelly, I know that, you know, just like economic development, workforce development is also about a team approach. I know that Mayor Graham was very helpful at the time and very supportive. Uh, you had other support from other players, other stakeholders that were also in the job or in the role of making sure that we take care of those people. I know that the, the state had a little involvement, but so talk to us about all of the things that came to bear to make that happen. Well, we had an incredible team of people once we determined what those employees needed. We had an incredible team of people who came to the table to provide those resources for, for them. So we coordinated the state's rapid response team and brought down folks to talk to them about unemployment benefits and how to file. And we brought in the American Job Center to help those folks apply for jobs, to build their resumes, to search for jobs. Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Shelbyville was on site to talk to folks who maybe wanted to go a different direction than where they had been and help them determine what education path was going to be best for them during this transition. Uh, State Far or excuse me, Farm Bureau right here in Bedford County came out and talked to folks about health insurance options moving forward. Uh, in the end, we had adult education at the table. We had American Job Center, Bedford County and Lawrence County uh, participated in supporting these employees. The mobile job coach from the American Job Center is a it, it's a van that comes out that's equipped with computers resources and a team of people to help these folks um, apply for their unemployment benefits to help them research job opportunities they were on site weekly uh, for 14 weeks with the and, and worked with every single one of the National Pen employees to make sure that 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 unemployment piece was an important piece trying to understand how to um, file for those benefits benefits, of course, to get paid during that transition uh, was kind of a daunting task. We, so many of those folks had worked at National Pen for 20, 30, even 40 years. And so knowing what the process was to apply for that online seemed a little bit daunting for them. And, and that staff of people came in and just made it the easiest process possible. And, and without all of these people at the table, we would not have been able to transition these folks into their new opportunities. Like I said before, Kelly, we're just thankful that you were here, that the partnership was here, that everybody was able to work together to really help uh, those folks that were losing their job, um, to really help them out and get them where they needed to be. A 90% success ratio of getting those folks employed, again, was really stellar. So we want to say thank you for that. And with the partnership really came through for those folks. And we did our job. And I'm just happy to let you and Patty talk about how that happened. One of my first things, you know, I did appreciate that they did let me know a little bit of ahead of time. One of my, my first thoughts of, wow, 
what can I do to help the employees? Because, you know, I, like I said, these employees have been here 40, there was one that has been there 50 years. Um, and some of them came right out of school and that's all they know is working with national pens and, and different uh, departments. So thinking, knowing that Bedford County isn't that big, you know, it's not like Nashville, how do we, my resources were gonna be small, being able to find people jobs because I knew that a number of them did not wanna leave Shelbyville or the Bedford County. So that was my first thought was, wow, I need to find out what, what kind of jobs are really gonna be out there. And some of them had expressed that, you know, when we start talking to the employees, that they didn't want to go back into a production job, which made the field even smaller. Well, I could just say, you know, our resources that we have, besides me being HR here, is in San Diego or in Ireland. So I wasn't, there wasn't a lot of support or a lot of people that knew all the ins and outs of this area. So knowing that um, when we met, it was like, oh my God, there was a, a just, weight lift off my shoulders because it was like okay i'm not alone because when you start thinking you know that there's these large number of employees that are gonna you know be looking it's gonna affect their life and knowing that now i have to figure out how to put it all together to make it as seamless for them because it's going to be hard um and then after that first meeting i was <laughs> i was so excited i was i walked away just saying wow okay this is going to be you know it's a hard conversation with the employees but I, the resources that you guys talked about and all the different things that were going to be available um, just uh, blew me away actually um, because you know I've in my career unfortunately I've had to do many layoffs and you know it's not something you definitely enjoy but you know you're impacting these people lives you know their lives so um, and I you know in all my career I've never had the resources that we were going to have and so that was really um, special to me because it just helped me learn more about this area, more about Bedford County and all the things that we did have, because those employees that were gonna be left, were gonna need maybe need some of that or want some information. So it wasn't just for those that were leaving. Um, I think it was you know good for the whole organization to learn about that. Of that 67, I'm gonna say the majority. I mean, we had about, I'm gonna say about 60. I, really, I was really surprised because we had a number of them that were gonna go back to school. Uh, there was a couple that just, want to take a break. And given the opportunity, that was great that they could do that. Uh, they were just trying to decide, you know, did they want to maybe look at a part-time job? Uh, maybe it's time for them to just take a break altogether. So being able to get the majority of the employees something that they wanted, not just another job, but maybe another career, another uh, something that was going to help them thrive and feel good about themselves and know that, wow, okay, I'm providing for my family, but now you know, but I, yeah, there was a major change in my life, but now it's, it, you know, that's in the past and now I'm moving forward. You know, a lot of times when you're tasked with a challenge or something that's unexpected like this comes up, the first thing you're thinking of, okay, what do I need to do? You're planning, you know, um, who do I need to talk to? And with the partnership, since we had already, you know, talked months before because you guys came in and introduced yourselves and told us exactly what the partnership does um, that really helped so it kind of had a, you know uh, that reminder of hey they're out there um, not knowing everything because again you're not going to be able to say oh this is everything we can do or that we can be you know part of with national pen um, and so when we started communicating and started saying hey wow what they can assist with or what they're willing to take on and move forward and say, I've got this for you. Um, it's huge, um, you know, because then it, it would just, it allowed me to focus on the employees because that was the most important then, to make that transition for them, make, um, you know, a, a dealing with the outside because, you know, uh, people, ev you know, everybody is family here. I mean, it's, it's a smaller community. So everybody knows somebody and, you want them to know that yes, this happened. Yes, uh, you know it was. Uh, you know, hopefully we're not have to do this again. But here we've got these resources. Here we're, we're going to try to help the families. We're going to make it as seamless as possible. But we wouldn't be able to do it without the partnership. We wouldn't have been as successful. I don't think we would have been able to um, find the jobs. Yes, the employers are out there, but then they are now going to go in the pool with everybody else. Where to show, you know, where with the partnership, 
you guys were able to help us show this person has 20 years here, you know, and they got to meet the face to face versus just receiving a resume like we do all the time, receiving a resume and you're just working off a piece of paper versus somebody. So, you know, without the partnership, um, we wouldn't have been as successful. It, the employees, I don't think, would be as happy as they are now. Um, you know, I've got the opportunity for a couple of them to come join, uh, you know, another company, uh, First Community Bank, where I'm at now, um, which did not happen right away. After a while, people were like, oh, I think I'm interested. And it's been very successful for us, too. So, you know, so that's another success story that, you know, probably they never thought of getting into banking. And here they are. Um, but again, you know, talking to people who went to the different companies and, and their family members, because I still see family members that are like, oh, you help so, you know, John get this, and he loves it. Um, again, you see these people all the time. So, but the big thing is always promoting, and you know, to this day, you know, you and I continue to talk about what other opportunities, uh, what, what's going on in the community. You know, reminding employees, you know, these things are out there. Because I still get calls from the employees asking different questions because I always tell them, call me if you need something. And then I remind them, hey, you've got this resource, don't forget this. So they're not, not relying on me only because, you know, I'm only one person. So without the resources, the, the, the knowledge that you guys have, um, the employees would not be where they're at today.